we got some big news stories, some developing situations that will impact the price of gold and silver, will impact the markets. We need to talk about them. Let's get down to the basement right now. Wouldn't we find it interesting if the billionaires were buying gold and silver? I've got some factors that we need to look at that maybe point toward the fact that that may be the case. The ultra wealthy are accumulating silver, gold, platinum, all the precious metals. You can make up your mind for yourself, but let's look at these very interesting factors right now. What do you say we start by talking about what we do know? We do know that Andy Sheckman recently announced that a Texas billionaire made a $50 million purchase of precious metals from him. Bullion, silver and gold, some silver American eagles, also some physical gold. We know that that occurred and that is a very strong sign for the fact that at least one billionaire, one of the ultra wealthy, has already decided to move her money into the precious metals. We also recently heard Dunnigan Kaiser, another major silver bullion dealer, talk about the fact that he had received several inquiries from customers about his ability to fulfill orders up to $5 million. Now that's not necessarily from a billionaire, but anyone who can throw around $5 million to purchase bullion certainly has a high, high level of wealth. You don't have to be a billionaire to come down to Ron's basement and talk about silver and gold. You just need to have an interest in learning about the subject, sharing your ideas. I appreciate you deciding to give me a segment of your precious time. I honor that and you're always, always welcome to come back. You, yes, you are the most important part of Ron's Basement. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, turn on the bell notification, Leave a comment below. We really want to hear from you and about you and share this video anywhere you like. Well, we may not be billionaires yet, but we do also know that in Russia, the population has been making huge purchases of gold. And many of those purchases, it is speculated, are coming from the oligarchs many of which are billionaires. So even in the East, we have the ultra wealthy putting their money into silver and gold. And I talked to several bullion dealers this week that both said the same thing. Even with this recent drawdown in the price of gold, in the price of silver, they're still seeing big buyers coming through and making large, purchases of silver, of gold. Now, these aren't necessarily billionaires, but again, a good trend that people with significant wealth are deciding to put their money into the metals. We also know that the inventories at the COMEX, where the big paper contracts are traded, which are supposed to be at least somewhat backed up by physical metal, that the physical metal is being drained out of the COMEX exchange both silver and gold. Now there's speculation that surrounds this. I am not a guru in that area, but we need to consider the fact that if these large bars, these thousand ounce bars of silver, for instance, are being pulled out of the COMEX, hey, who has 20 grand to throw on a silver bar or multiple silver bars? Those would be high net worth investors acquiring more physical metal. And finally, there's also speculation, and I will emphasize speculation that Warren Buffett himself might be acquiring silver again. Part of this theory has something to do with Bank of America. 
It's another one that I'm not that well versed on, so I won't dive into it too deeply. You can if you like. If you find out something interesting on that matter, please share it in the comment section below. When we take all of this in aggregate and the world geopolitical situation and everything that's going on and the fact that it does appear that very high net worth individuals are purchasing physical metal to protect their wealth, I think it provides a strong support for silver, for gold, for platinum, for palladium, for all the precious metals as we move into the coming weeks, quarters, and years. One thing for sure, we're going to find out how it all plays out. And I will be here for you every day through it all. And I'll look forward to seeing you. Yes, you. Remember, you're the most important part of Ron's Basement. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement, live on the log flume with Lily. Lily, say hi. hi.